Hey there, it's Lisa Spangler with a video for Studio Calico. Today I'm going to be sharing a really cool technique that you can use with Color Theory inks and Mr. Huey's Shine. And I'm going to be using this Christmas stamp set, especially this stamp here. I thought it would be really cool to do it in a circle. So I went ahead and stamped it with white pigment um, ink and then I heat embossed it with white embossing powder. And then I went ahead and punched it out. This is a one and a half inch circle punch. And I just did this for the sake of time. Plus I figured you guys already knew how to do this part. Now for the fun part. So I'm going to be working on this palette paper. You can find it at a craft store or online. And what it is is just white paper and then it has like this waxy coating. If you don't have palette paper, you can feel free to go ahead and use wax paper for this too. I just like the palette paper since it's white so you can see um, the colors really well. And then these are the inks that we're going to be using. And once again, make sure you have something down on your workspace. My work table is white, so I didn't want to um, put the ink directly on there. But I started with the Deja Blue, and then this is Ice Ice Baby. I love that name. And then last but not least is the Blush Crush. And as you can see, I'm just kind of swiping some ink down on the palette paper. Then I've taken the Mr. Huey's Shine, and you give it a good shake to get all the sparkly bits all mixed up there. Um, and then just give it a really good mist. I'm bound and determined to use up my mists this year. Um, I have so many of them and they're all on my shelf and they look really pretty. Uh, but I want to use them up. So I went ahead and grabbed these tweezers. Um, I You don't have to use tweezers by any means. I'm just doing it so that my fingers don't get too inky here while I'm doing the video and then you're just going to drop one of those um, stamped and then white heat embossed circles down on some ink and I just kind of like spread it through the inks and kind of tap it in there you don't have to get all three colors on one circle it's totally up to you um, but there's one and then you can just keep going with this and add more mist as needed Mine feels like it's like not, the ink isn't spreading around as much, so that's why I went ahead and added more of the mist. Um, and by the way, you can also use water for this um, to spread the ink around, but then of course it won't be sparkly, and that's part of the thing. Oh, that one came out really good there. But as you can see, you can just sit here and do this all day. And this might even be something you want to get the kids to have fun with, too. Um, I'm sure they don't mind getting their fingers too inky. Um, but anyhow, you can see there, I just like wanted to make this one super dark. So lots of ink on there. And I kind of like the how the pink and the blue will blend together and make like a purpley color. I think that's really pretty. Um, so I think you got the hang of that. And then if you want to add more ink, I mean, you can totally go ahead and add more ink there and then just give it another mist. One thing I have to say, I noticed that the um, blush crush will fade a little bit as it dries, but I think that's really pretty anyhow. So, Ooh, and that got like a little bit of gray where it mixed in with the ice ice baby. That's really pretty too. But there we go. And I think you have the idea here. So you can just keep going and going and use up all of that ink and mist and add more if you feel like you need it. Here's a whole bunch of the circles that I've done. And some of them I folded in half. I'm thinking maybe I'll make a little garland with the ones that are folded in half. And then here's my finished card. I wanted you to see how pretty and sparkly it is on camera because it's hard to take a photo of that Mr. Huey shine. 
So then to finish up the card, I stamped the tidings of comfort and joy on a little piece of paper. And then for the joy by itself that's in the circle, I just um, added the ink in the mist to a non-embossed circle. And then when it was dry, I stamped it later. So here's a close-up so that you can see that better. And then just adding some more splats of different colors of Mr. Huey's, the pink and the blue, and some patterned paper and some sequins. And my card was done. So I hope you give this technique a try. And thanks so much for joining me.